Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So I was not sure if I was gonna actually post a video for today, but since it is New Year's, Happy New Year's, and I hope 2024 is going to be much kinder to everybody this year. But for today's video, it is going to be a lot shorter than usual, but I still wanted to do some kind of sketchbook drawing video for Monday. But with that being said, I might skip Wednesday. We will see um, how I'm doing, but if I can't make it in time, I will skip Wednesday and you'll just get a Saturday video. But if not, then things will proceed as normal. But for today, I did want to just ink a drawing for today's session so I did pull out my Ohuhu fine liners and even though I showed you guys three markers in the beginning I am going to be basically using the entire set to kind of fill up the entire page because I was kind of planning on doing a very dark spread so the character that I'm drawing I have not talked about I don't think but or I did kind of briefly in Saturday's video as I was talking about my OCs and basically, I wanted Masuke to have more of a, I guess like a best friend or a companion or somebody else that I can also let him interact with instead of like Sato and Akemi and Koji. So somebody of like probably similar age and stuff for him to, I don't know, just to have more interactions with and to kind of progress the story a little bit, at least how I envision it in my brain. So I don't think this character is going to be fully fleshed out by the time this video comes out anyways. I have a little bit of time to doodle what I kind of want him to look like. So even though you're seeing this drawing, this might not be the final form of him, I guess. My plan was to have a more, I guess, like kind of like shaggier, fluffier haired character. And I wasn't sure if I was going to go like younger or older, more youthful or more like stern or a little bit, I don't know. Uh, I was kind of like floating around which age group I wanted to play with in terms of making a new character because I do have Koji who's in the kind of like kid realm and I do want to design a few more like kids for if I do end up making a story for Maseki and stuff I do want to draw maybe classmates and stuff for Koji and one of them would be Akemi's younger sister but for Masaki himself, I didn't really think about the idea of like him interacting with like other people in his university and stuff or in his work life. So this is kind of what I wanted another character for and him to kind of like build some kind of relationship with another character, which will be this character. So before I get too sidetracked, the main thing that I wanted is that I wanted this character to be more kind of like dark hair dark clothing, probably shaggier, kind of fluffier hair. So I'm kind of sticking with a particular aesthetic in my brain. So hopefully in the future, when I kind of flesh out his design a little bit, I'll actually do some finished artwork of him. And, you know, I will kind of let him join the rest of my other OCs into hopefully a time where I will be more gung-ho about drawing my own OCs rather than neglecting like majority of them minus Masaki. But yeah, other than that, I do have one other OC that I mentioned that I also had. And that was just like based off of a friend's kind of little template of a character story. So they're kind of like a one-off character, but they share too many similar characteristics and like visually with this current character. So I'm trying to split them up a little bit more so that they're not too... I don't know, similar so that they don't resemble each other because I want them to have no... Uh, like relationship or anything to do with each other because they're not going to be placed in the same story at all. But I think that's going to be it for kind of like today's session for the most part. I am just going to kind of shade and hatch everything in and I'm just going to play around with inking because I think I saw a Instagram story from one of my friends who was playing around with screen tones digitally. So I've been playing around with that in Clip Studio Paint as well and I've been wanting to still really level up my inking skill and I feel like it stems also from my lack of ability to do it traditionally. So I wanted to spend more time figuring it out kind of traditionally first on a smaller scale, kind of gradually get more ambitious and then eventually also do more digitally because there's just something very attractive that I really like about seeing people ink but also like black and white illustrations. 
and the way that they can kind of like create value and I don't know, textures just from like not exactly from like soft transitions, gradations and those stuff, but just from line. So I kind of want to make that an, kind of like a goal for this year, if anything. I don't know if I'm going to talk about my art goals in a video, so I'll briefly touch upon it here. But if not, I'll probably talk about it on Saturday because I do have something kind of in the works that I want to do for Saturday's video. I'm going to keep kind of like my art goals a little bit vague because I don't want to... I don't know if it's because I know I won't adhere to what I want to do fully, but it's just nice to have like a basic guideline of what I want to have done within the year or so, or at least get started within this year. So one is obviously my store again, my online store, and I really want to dip into making a stationary brand because that was kind of the point of my other OC, Hansuke, who's like my little cat mascot, because I've kind of neglected him because I have not pursued anything regarding trying to make a stationary brand or making any kind of like more paper products that are more themed with his stuff. So I'm probably going to do a lot of research this year in terms of like merch making and all that and playing around with um, different styles and learning about different layouts and themes and working with different manufacturers. So that's something I definitely want to do and hopefully I will spend a lot more time actually researching rather than kind of just thinking about the ideas and not actually pursuing them. Also, I apologize if in like, the last few videos you could hear my laptop kind of huffing and puffing in the background. I've been having a hard time trying to not overwork my laptop, so it's having a little bit of a hard time recently. So I've been trying to see if I can... I don't know. I... My laptop's not very old. I got it in like 2021 or like maybe the end of 2020. So I, I don't really want to buy a desktop quite yet, but me and my brother have been talking about like Boxing Day deals and sales that are still going on. And I'm kind of looking at a pre-built PC because it would be nice to upgrade and use my laptop as just a portable uh, device around the house or whenever I go out and I need to use it rather than just using it as a desktop or like a makeshift desktop right now because I think it's having a little bit of a hard time because I'm kind of really pushing its limits and I think it's overheating because the fan is kind of like going through overdrive right now and I know it's mostly because whenever I do any more intense editing or compiling a footage or recording it just takes up a lot of space and a little bit of more power I guess for my laptop so it's it's struggling a little bit so currently I'm looking into getting a desktop and hopefully getting a better setup so I can make filming a little bit easier um but yeah another art goal I want to get better at line work and kind of incorporate that into my drawing as well because I feel like the lack of structure is making me really dislike the rendering and cleanup phase because I mentioned last year, I guess I can say now, is that I've been having a hard time finishing drawings recently. And I think that's might be the reason why. So that or I'm just kind of burnt out nearing the end of the year at that point. We'll see. We'll see. I, I definitely still want to finish the other drawings that I had planned in my Procreate gallery. So I'm going to try my best to finish those. So another very vague kind of goal I want to do is just more traditional art in general and I know you guys have been seeing that I've been doing shorts a little bit more often which is kind of pushing me to do more traditional art as well because I found a method that I can do for filming my sketchbook in that way and the short form media kind of helps me not bog down on the idea of having to film everything at the same time like everything at once at the same time so I can just kind of take snippets but I really want to get back into painting and I believe that's what I said in 2022 for 2023, but I've never gotten to paint as much as I would like to. So gouache is something I still want to get better at. I would like to dabble more in acrylic painting, but the thing I want to do more is definitely watercolor painting, both for myself in general, but also be I just need to fulfill that little gap in my heart where every time I see other people painting with watercolor and I'm like I wish I was doing that right now but I'm either sitting at my computer editing or I'm like 
don't know. Sometimes I'm just not motivated and I'm just sitting there watching a video and I'm like, wow, look how unproductive I am. So maybe in the future, I can just really push myself to do longer painting sessions again. And hopefully if I can, I'll try to share the process with you guys every so often. But I think that's it for today's video and drawing this random character. I just realized that the cutting of his jacket flowing backwards and on his shoulder makes it really weird. It kind of makes his shoulder and arm look like it's getting dipped way lower than it actually is because I was supposed to have his arm pushed back more but the way that the jacket's cutting into it just looks like a straight line so it looks kind of funny but it was kind of fun just doing the hatching and just the general gist of inking again traditionally especially also i'm playing around with my camera setup so i do apologize that it seems like it's having a hard time sticking with the white balance or keeping the blacks black and my lighter colors light but other than that it's now 12 a.m where i am right here i kind of finished just right on time but i hope you guys have a wonderful new year and hopefully 2024 is a lot better for a lot of us i'll talk to you guys next time in the next video bye Thank you.